Okej, okay, siemano wam wszystkim ludzie, z tej strony Arturo, witam was na swoim kanale i kontynuujemy Lost Horizon. Znajdujemy się na pomoście, na którym dzieciak złowił nasz portfel. Niestety, nie chce nam go oddać, ponieważ powiedział, że odda nam go wtedy, kiedy złapiemy dla niego nietoperza. No i tutaj pojawia się problem. Nie mam zielonego pojęcia, gdzie mam go szukać. Dlatego musimy rozejrzeć się po wszystkich lokacjach, czy znajdziemy jakieś punkty... Punkty zaczepienia. They don't look very inviting. All right, kid. Hey! So, got me a bet up your sleeve? I'm working on it. O co chodziło z tymi nietoperzami? Co z moim portfelem? Dobra, jeszcze raz zapytajmy, o co chodziło z nietoperzami. What was it again about bats? They hate the rain. Oh, man! Weren't you listening? The bats don't mind a little bit of rain, but the flies do. And where there are no flies to hunt, there are no bats. You follow? Wouldn't it be better if you try again tomorrow evening? Perhaps you know when it's not raining. I bet I catch up that tonight, not tomorrow. Maybe the rain will stop. I see. Hope springs eternal. Very well. I'll come up with something. Maybe I can find a way to attract the bats. When I do, I want my wallet back. Deal. Do zobaczenia. I'll be off then. Czyli może nie chodzi o to, żebyśmy złapali nie toperze. Ale złapali jakieś owady. Niestety tutaj żadnych nie widzę. Mamy cztery punkty na mapie, do których moglibyśmy się udać. Nocny klub, port, na lotnisko oraz pałac gubernatora. Może udajmy się na lotnisko i porozmawiajmy z Gazem. The more I hassle Gas, the slower he works. I'd kind of like my plane ready this side of the century. Gus, my mechanic. He keeps things from falling apart. He's also my only employee. Niestety nie możemy z nim porozmawiać. Miech. Co to takiego miech? Aha, już wiem. Maybe I should ask Gus if he needs them first. Gus, listen. Yes? Do you think you could spare your bellows for a while? Why do you ask? What do you need them for? Well, I can't really say at the moment. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah, go ahead. It's your stuff anyway. I've finished cleaning the engine. Well then. Wzięliśmy miech. Gus's bellows. He says he uses them to get the dust out of the plane's engine. But I can't say I've ever noticed a difference. A ja myślałem, że to służy do rozpalania grilla. Dobra. Możemy udać się do swojego biura, ale tam raczej nie toperza i owadów nie zdobędziemy. Z powrotem do miasta. Biuro Fentona. Pałac Gubernatora, port, no dobra. Chodźmy zatem do pałacu. Czy tutaj znajdziemy jakieś punkty zaczepienia? Kosz na śmieci, drzewo. O, tu jest jakaś piłka albo coś. A tree cut precisely to shape. Typical British approach. We even impose our formalities on nature. Wait a moment. Is that a ball hanging in the branches? No właśnie, tak mi się wydaje, że coś tutaj leży. Piłka. Hold! Stop! Stop where you are, sir! What do you think you're doing? I... Uh, want to get that ball over there. My... Uh, nephew accidentally threw it into the tree while he was playing this morning. I'm sorry, sir, but I cannot allow you to do that. What? I just want to go get my nephew's toy. That may very well be. And usually it wouldn't be a problem, sir. But today it's been raining. And you are just about to step on this decorative English lawn. So what? So what? Excuse me, but have you taken leave of your senses, sir? The constant rain has soaked the ground completely, and the precious blades of grass are defenseless against your brutal boots. Okay, then. I'll be very careful when I walk across the lawn. I promise. Halt! If you take even one more step towards the border, I will have to arrest you, sir. Now, wait just a minute. There's a million different crimes going on right now in this city. Your lawn will be just fine. Sir. I do not joke. When it comes to the protection and care of His Majesty's parks, I have full authority. After all, we represent the British Crown here. What is to become of the Empire if we are not even capable of establishing well-tended gardens in our colonies? Sir, you are preventing me from doing my duty. Either you step back, or I will be forced to take you into custody. It seems I am powerless against British conscientiousness. I can't even tell him why I'm here. I need a different plan. 
Nie możemy wejść na trawnik, ponieważ pilnuje go strażnik. Zresztą strasznie surowy. Oficer policji. Pałac gubernatora. Gdybyśmy tak poszli do gubernatora i zapytali się go, czy możemy wziąć piłeczkę, w sumie nie głupi pomysł. W końcu mamy mu pomóc odszukać jego y, syna? Chyba tak. Richard miał na imię. Good evening, sir. How may I help you, sir? Lubisz tu pracować? Do you enjoy doing this? I beg your pardon, sir. I mean, standing around here all day in the pouring rain. After serving in London for ten years, the rain doesn't really bother me, sir. Apart from that, it's a great honor to maintain law and order in front of the governor's palace. Three cheers for our British civil servant. Mam problem z triadem tongów. May I ask you a question? Go ahead, sir. By a hair, the Tong triad nearly drowned me in the harbor today. And yet, there wasn't a police officer for miles. Any particular reason? If the incident occurred, as you say, in the harbour, you will have to file an official complaint to the Office of the Colonial Administration. They are responsible for the Southern District. I am under the direct authority of the Palace Department, and I'm responsible for maintaining law and order on and around these premises. Three cheers for British bureaucracy. To już nie przeszkadzam w pracy. Then I won't keep you from your work any longer. Good night, sir. Dobranoc. I've got everything I need from Lord Weston. I need to get ready for this trip. O, czyli nie możemy go o to zapytać, czy możemy wziąć piłeczkę. No dobra. Musimy wykombinować coś innego. Miecha nie mogę na tym użyć. Budzik. Ale po co budzik używać na drzewie? Taśma miernicza. Też nie. Dosier ekspedycji Richarda. Was never much of a gardener myself. Contrary to British stereotype. Jest też kosz na śmieci. No tak. Czym by była gra przygodowa point and click bez grzebania w śmietniku? There's nothing useful inside. Ale niestety w środku niczego nie ma. A normal rubbish bin. End of story. Może coś będę mógł na tym użyć? Time to say goodbye to this old thing. O! Oh. Can't leave this behind. How will I know what time to wake up? My alarm clock wound down a while ago. Let's take a look. Ah, the key's stuck to the back. Ah, rozumiem. Nakręcimy budzik, włożymy do kubła na śmieci. Strażnik pójdzie zobaczyć, co się dzieje. A my w tym czasie siup na trawnik i zabierzemy piłeczkę. Okay, I'll wind up the clock. Running like... Clockwork. It'll go off in a couple of minutes. To jest nasza szansa. Okay, I'll place the alarm clock in the rubbish bin. Let's see what happens when it goes off. When the alarm goes off, I better not be here. What's that? Who's disturbing the governor's sleep? To jest moja szansa. Policjant nie patrzy. No dalej, Fenton, po co się obracasz w tamtą stronę? Już dawno byś wbiegł na ten trawnik i wziął piłkę. Well, can you believe that? Why would someone throw away a perfectly good alarm clock? Great. That should distract him from his duties for a while. Mam nadzieję, że ten budzik będę mógł jeszcze odzyskać. W sumie to dobry patent na odwracanie uwagi. And now off the lawn as quickly as possible. Może ludzi Tonga też w taki sposób mógłbym odwrócić. I see you have everything under control. Yes, sir. Very well. Don't let me disturb you any longer. Good evening, sir. A jednak nie, jednak nie możemy zdobyć z powrotem budzika. Port, nocny klub, na lotnisku byliśmy, w pałacu gubernatora byliśmy, w porcie byliśmy, nigdzie nie widzieliśmy owadów ani nietoperza. Tutaj na ulicy znajdują się ludzie Tonga, kolejny kosz na śmieci. I don't want to rummage through the rubbish. And I don't have to either. Rubbish. Rój much. Dirty flies. 
They must like this dry patch under the roof. Acorda. Jest sierściuch. What was that? No i świetnie, jeszcze powiadomił ludzi Tonga. Just a magic cat. That was close. I shouldn't make so much noise. Jest kot i są muchy. Ale żeby zdobyć muchy, muszę pozbyć się kota, inaczej będzie alarmował Chińczyków. A cat? I'm going to wring this moggy's neck in a minute. Of course, I'd probably better nod. Not only am I a great animal lover, but more importantly, the racket might attract Tong's thugs. No dobra, a może muszę mu rzucić po prostu piłeczkę. I wonder if I can use this to distract it and lure it away from the rubbish bin. Here, kitty kitty. Catch the ball. Hmm. The cat does seem to be interested in the ball. But only while it's moving. Ale tylko wtedy, kiedy się rusza. I must be a damn genius. If I tie the measuring tape to the ball, I'll have a lovely, colorful pendulum. Hey, things like this always seem to come in handy. No dobra, zastanówmy się, gdzie miałbym to powiesić. Drążek. Okay, you little rascal. Let's see if your animal intelligence is any match for my person intelligence. Aha. Take that nature. Jeden problem mamy z głowy. Worth a try. I should be able to suck up a few flies. My god, Fenton Paddock. Legendary adventurer, pilot extraordinaire, flycatcher. Is that a step down? O dziwo złapaliśmy wszystkie muchy. Miech wypełniony muchami. Czyli rozumiem, że musimy udać się z powrotem do portu i muchy przekazać chłopcu. Światło. Fly, my pretties. It's working. The flies are buzzing round the lamp. Hey, what are you doing there? You said you wanted flies. I've got some. And that's supposed to work? Yeah. The flies lure the bats, and you catch one. I don't know. At the least, it'll give you a fighting chance. I'd say I've kept my part of the deal. Hmm. Okay then. Here's your wallet. There wasn't anything valuable in there anyway. Well, I, I was having some financial issues, you know, and... Hey, it's none of your business. Give it to me. Good luck on your bat hunt. Thanks. I think I'll check nothing's missing. What I'm about to say is actually pretty sad. Nothing's missing. Yes, my safe combination. I really should memorize this thing. Okay. Kartka z numerem. Jeden, dwa, trzy, sześć, pięć, chyba tak. Możemy z powrotem udać się na lotnisko. Hey, boss. What's up, Gus? She's just about ready. I've stowed your equipment and some provisions. Whatever would I do without you, Gus? Well, keep that in mind next time you fill in my paycheck. Anyway, good luck, boss. You'll need it. Thanks, Gus. So, I guess I'll get going in a couple of minutes if there's nothing else. All right. Take a few days off and enjoy them. If I'm not back in three weeks, then I suppose you'll have to look for a new job. I'm sure it won't come to that. Świetnie. Samolot jest gotowy do podróży. No my za chwilę też będziemy. Ale najpierw musimy zdobyć zdjęcie pana Wanga. Potem musimy udać się do Niancu, pokazać mu zdjęcie, a on nam wskaże, gdzie on mieszka. Niestety staruszek nie ma pamięci do imion i nazwisk. Ale jak sam powiedział, wzrok ma dobry i pamięć wzrokową również. Safe. Old private documents and personnel files. There must be a photo of Yen Wang in here somewhere. 
Hmm. These are the documents and certificates from my days in the army. A newspaper article on the 1932 Harbour Riots. It says, eight dead during riots in Hong Kong Harbour. Chinese dock workers came together on Friday evening in the Victoria Harbour to vent their anger over low wages. A British army unit was dispatched to the harbour to keep the peace. As the situation was about to escalate, the officer in command was ordered to retreat in order to prevent casualties. For reasons unknown, the officer in command did not comply with his orders. The soldiers opened fire and began to shoot randomly into the enraged mob. This incident caused a public outcry and was followed by several other clashes. Thankfully, there were no further casualties. The British government regrets the incident and has relented to the workers' demands. The officer responsible for the bloody conflict has been suspended from his duties for the time being. It is very likely that he will have to face charges of insubordination before a military court. Why on earth did I keep this crap? Here we go. Yen Wang's personnel file. Complete with photo. Now, hopefully, Niantsu can tell me Yen Wang's current address. Yen Wang też to jest staruszek. Ale mamy wszystko to, czego potrzebowaliśmy. Nocny klub. Wejdziemy sobie bocznym wejściem, bo możemy. Okej. Okay. Z barmanem nie będziemy rozmawiać. Jest Niantsu. It took longer than expected. But I have the photo. Um, what uh, photo are you talking about? The photo of my friend. You told me to bring it. Me? Do I know you, young man? Ah, oh, wait. You're that pilot boy, right? I don't believe it. Are you for real? <laughs> Take it easy, son. You must forgive this old man his jokes. Come along. Show me the photo. Yes, I know this man. And do you know where he lives? I said I'd tell you all you wanted to know. He has moved to the Won Moi district. And if I remember correctly, he lives in Wing Hao Street. Finally. Thanks a lot. That was all? Yes, that's all. You have been a great help. Perhaps I can return the favor someday. Hmm. Be seeing you. Pazlo. O, mamy nową lokację na mapie. Czyli mieszkanie pana Wanga. No tak, musimy zdobyć mapy Tybetu, inaczej nie będziemy mogli wyruszyć samolotem. Dom Wanga. Right. This must be Yen Wang's place. It's been a while. God knows how he'll react. A może troszkę czarnego humoru. Pan Wang pewnie nie żyje. Na zdjęciu wyglądał jak staruszek. Możemy wrócić się do miasta, ale nie chcemy tego robić. If Nianzu is right, then Wang lives in this building here. Let's see if I can find Yen Wang's apartment. Looks like it'd fall apart if I touched it. This pot is full of cracks. Oh, mogłem wziąć bambusa. Looks like it'd fall apart if I touched it. Ale niestety doniczki już wziąć nie mogę. Jest też stary rower. What sort of a world do we live in where people can't just leave their bikes hanging around without chaining them up to stop people like me stealing them? A child's bike. It's chained to the wall. Szczerze powiedziawszy, co z tego, że jest przykuty łańcuchem? Wystarczy odkręcić koło. Ale nie, to chyba z ramą też jest powiązane. No ale wystarczy odkręcić tylne koło. Już nikt nie może jeździć. Dobra, tutaj mamy drzwi, tutaj mamy drzwi i tutaj mamy drzwi. Jest też flaga. It reads, Better to light a candle than to curse in the darkness. An old saying that completely misunderstands the appeal of a good curse. Okay, this must be the one. Oh. Fenton? Kim! Um, I, I didn't think... Why don't you come on in? 
Nasza stara przyjaciółka. Uh, thanks. How do you know? Oh, it wasn't easy. A strange old man told me. But first he needed a photo of your uncle. Then he pretended to forget who I was and... I don't get it. It's a much longer story than it should be. Anyway, I, I know it's been a while, but is Yen here? You don't know? Don't know what? What do you want? Well, I wanted to see your uncle. Why? Are you in interrogations now? I want to talk to him. Why now? Why didn't you come any earlier? He waited for you for so long. Did he? Well, better late than never. Not this time, Fenton. Uncle Wang passed away a few days ago. No. He did. Very suddenly. I can't. I'm so sorry, Kim. What are you sorry about? That you betrayed him and refused to talk to him for over a year? I'm sorry that your uncle passed away, but I never betrayed his trust. No? So what do you call it? What you did was terrible. And the fact that you never told us about it, that we actually had to find out about it from someone else. Don't you call that betrayal? You worked together, you were friends. We were practically family. How did we get you so wrong, Fenton? You hear lies and conjecture. You see words in the paper and you just assume the worst without even talking to me. You call that friendship? My uncle wanted to talk to you, but you just left him standing there. You didn't explain any of it. So we're left with eight Chinese workers shot dead that evening and a missing man. What else were we supposed to believe? You never denied any of it. You'd already made up your minds. Your uncle packed up and left work before I had a chance. Those are just excuses. You knew where we were. You could have come. Either there was nothing to explain, or we just weren't worth the effort. Kim, that's not true. I can't believe you could even think that. You were supposed to know me. You know I'm not capable of... a massacre. I thought I knew you. I also thought we could talk about anything and everything. We... I... I just can't talk about that one thing. Then why are you here? I... I wanted to ask Yen a favour. What kind of favour? For the notes from his expedition to Tibet. That's the only reason? Yes. I see. Why do you need the notes? I... I can't tell you that either. Oh, of course. Who do you think you are, Fenton Paddock? You should leave now. Kim, please. These maps are extremely important to me. Oh, really? Then tell me why. If you expect me to trust you, then you'll have to trust me too. Otherwise, get out of my sight. Kim, I don't want to drag you into this. Hello, honey. Ho oh, ho, looks like I disturbed your little rendezvous. Honey? Who are you calling honey? Shut up and listen, girl. I want the maps. The ones Wang sketched on his way through Tibet. Which maps? My uncle never went to Tibet. Stop wasting my time, girl, or I will lose my temper. I want every single note he brought back from Tibet. And hurry up, or I will have to motivate you. Come on, hand them over! You okay? What does it look like? Who is that? Mun Tong. A triad boss. Here, take his pistol and keep an eye on him. I'll go look around outside. His crew are rarely far away. Hmm. Looks like Tong's got his men covering the front door. Like I thought. Two of them outside the door. Why is everyone suddenly so interested in those maps? What do you mean? But just before my uncle passed away, Richard showed up here, then you, and now those men. I want to know what's going on here. Richard? Did Yen show him the maps? Yes. That was about three weeks ago. And? Did Richard take the maps with him? No. Uncle Wang made copies for him. So the originals are still here? Yes. Uncle made me promise to keep them safe. Okay, look, I'll explain everything later, but we need to get out of here, quickly. These guys aren't going to give up. What is so special about the maps? No idea. And you expect me to believe that? No, I expect you to trust me. You'll explain everything? Yes, I promise. Okay. Last chance, Paddock. Thanks, Kimmy. Don't push it. Now what? We have to get out of the house. Is there a back door? I don't think so. I've only been here a couple of times, though. Okay, don't worry. I'll come up with something. We'll be out of here in a jiffy. Musimy się stąd wydostać, tak? Ale najpierw chciałbym znaleźć te mapy. Co ciekawe, Richard był tu trzy tygodnie temu i też prosił o mapy. 
They're weeks out of date. Anyway, I'm not here to read the paper. We've got his weapon. Kim can keep him at bay with it. I could give him a kicking, but I think he'd be angry enough as is. We certainly did a number on him. When he wakes up, he'll either have forgotten all about us, or be really, really pissed off. I'm guessing the latter. Może znajdziemy jakiś sposób, żeby go związać. Tyczką bambusową nie mogę go pobić. No dobra. Dokumenty. Kim's got the maps I need. No point rooting through anything else. Aha, Kim je ma. No dobra. Czyli będziemy razem spierdzielać. Do not worry about the past. Concentrate on the future. Perhaps I should take that to heart. Czyli jedyne moje zdanie na teraz to znaleźć wyjście awaryjne. Montong. Tu są drzwi, które prawdopodobnie prowadzą na balkon. I don't see anything that might help us escape. I have to be careful. They mustn't see me. Latarnia. It's hanging pretty far out. A candlelit lantern. The bamboo's long enough to get at the lantern, but it would just slide straight down and smash. No, może o to chodzi. Spadłoby mu na głowę. Somewhat unpleasant fellows, and pushy too. They seem to be following me tonight. There's no point in talking to them. I found that out the hard way. The thug's car. Moglibyśmy tym samochodem uciec. Ale wiecie co? Przychodzi mi taki plan do głowy. Może jednemu z tych bandytów musielibyśmy zrzucić doniczkę na głowę, drugiemu latarnię, straciliby przytomność, a my wtedy może jakoś wyszlibyśmy przez balkon, chociaż to wtedy nie miałoby sensu. Wsiedlibyśmy w samochód i odjechali. Dobra, spróbuję cofnąć się na korytarz. Looks like it'd fall apart if I touched it. This pot is full of cracks. Nie mogę jej zabrać. I don't want to put anyone else at risk. Kim and I can make it on our own. The door reads Ming Li. I don't want these people to get into trouble with the Tong Triad. Just because they helped me. The nameplate reads Jian Zhu. What sort of a world do we live in where people can't just leave their bikes hanging around without chaining them up to stop people like me stealing them? Zdjęcie Wanga. Tyczki nie mogę z niczym połączyć. We can't go back to the front. We'd only run into Mon Tong's men. No dobra. Czyli wychodzi, że coś musimy zrobić przy tym balkonie. Może nie wziąłem jeszcze jakiegoś przedmiotu. Wieszak. The hanger fits exactly into the hollow of the bamboo pole. Tyczka z hakiem. Może dzięki temu uda się zdjąć lampę. That should work. But I still have to be careful. Ok, ale co dalej w związku z tym? Lampion. Or I could just blow it out myself, but why would I want to do that? Lantern, lantern, burning bright, in the forests of the night. What immortal hand or eye could kill thy scary, rectangular... Yes, I forget the rest. Long story short, it's staying lit. Ok. Taki napis widniał na korytarzu. To może tam właśnie muszę się cofnąć. A candlelit lantern. Latarnia się świeci. Ale nie mogę jej z niczym połączyć. 
Or I could just blow it out myself, but why would I want to do that? What immortal hand or eye could kill thy scary long story short? Chyba, że ja muszę ją gdzieś powiesić. I don't see anything that might help us escape. Nie widzę tu niczego, co mogłoby mi pomóc w ucieczce. Ja się tak rozejrzę, czy są jeszcze tu gdzieś jakieś punkty interaktywne, no bo na samochód tego zrzucić nie mogę. Tyczkę z hakiem też nie. Somewhat unpleasant fellows and pushy too. They seem to be following me tonight. The thug's car. Samochód bandziorów. W sumie to nawet nie sprawdzałem, czy możemy z kim porozmawiać. Kim? Yes. Jeśli chodzi o wyjście. I don't suppose you've remembered another way out yet? No, not since you last asked me. Znajdę wyjście. Don't worry, I'll find a way out. Okay, hurry. They've got to realize something's up soon. No, okay. Do not worry about the past. Concentrate on the future. Perhaps I should take that to heart. No goal is too high. You're just standing too far below. Może na tych flagach znajdę podpowiedź. If something's easy to do, it's probably not worth doing. It reads, better to light a candle than to curse in the darkness. An old saying that completely misunderstands the appeal of a good curse. Wejście. Tam nie możemy wejść. O, hak. It's a lantern hook. Hak na latarnie. Hey, there's a window. Oh. This stuff isn't much help either. I'm no psychologist, but I doubt Kim would be impressed if I left her here. Tempting, all the same. If my sense of direction isn't completely off, this window should lead to the alley next to the house. No, dobra. To jest nasza szansa, żeby stąd zwiać. Kim, there's a window out there in the hallway. Let's get out of here. Finally. He's probably going to wake up at any moment. This is taking forever. Boss should have been back ages ago. Should I go see what's keeping him? Nah, the boss said we should wait here and orders are orders. Why did it take so long, boss? <laughs> did you stay for a cup of tea or something? Shut up. The girl wasn't alone. That guy Paddock was there too. They're gone. The maps too. Paddock? I thought he was at the bottom of the harbor. You thought wrong. They cannot be far. Tell the others and start a search. This time, I will watch him die. Hey, wait. Let me check if it's safe. And what's the grand plan now? We have to get to the airport. We'll be safe at my office for a while. I'll explain everything when we get there. Over here! We found them! Damn! Kim, the truck's running. Jump in and step on it. I'll cover you. What about you? Drive! 
I'll jump in the back. They're taking the truck! I can see that myself. Get the car. Oh, crap. Better find a way to get on the truck. Okay. Strefa ładunku. I can't reach it like that. Tak po prostu nie sięgnę. The pole's not strong enough to pull myself up with it. I can't reach it like that. Kim! Yeah? Gazu, hamoi. Hit the brakes! Are you crazy? Do you want those guys to run you over? He's got a point. Kim! Yeah? Pedal to the metal, Kim! All right. Hold on tight. I can't reach it. Oh, kurde, chyba nie zdążę. They're catching up. This thing's gonna fall apart if I push it any harder. Czyli mamy element zręcznościowy, strefa ładunku. Czy są tu gdzieś jeszcze jakieś inne punkty interaktywne? Dobra, jeszcze raz. Kim! Yeah? Full throttle, Kim! Okay, hang on! Kim! The brakes! Okay, whatever you say. Everything okay? Yeah, hurry up! Kim, we can't lead these guys to the airport. We've got to lose them. But I know. Suggestions? Stay on this road. I'll get rid of them. Czyli możemy przełączyć się między postaciami. Ułamany kawałek szkła. The glass is too far away. I really don't need to get shot to reach it. Yeah, I think I could use that piece of glass towards me. Czyli rozumiem, że będziemy przycinać ten worek, który znajduje się. Wow. Wow. Somehow he missed me. We shot the bamboo clean it up. The glass is too far away. I really don't need to get shot trying to reach it. It's locked. The tarpaulin is tied down. I can't pull it away. I don't smoke. Ty nie palisz, ale to nam się może przydać. Jest jakiś kluczyk. Nie mogę go przekazać Fentonowi. Okej. Czy to są laski dynamitu? A, rozumiem. Ale będziemy potrzebowali jeszcze zapalniczki. Tight fit, but it's a good one. Kim, don't head for the airport till we've lost them. You've said that already. Don't worry, I'll just stay on this road and try not to run anyone over. Okay, I'll try to come up with a way to shake them off. I don't smoke. I haven't got anything for fentanyl, in every possible sense. It's far too heavy. An oil smell tarpaulin. It looks like there's some engine parts underneath. That piece of glass broke out of the windshield when the Chevrolet crashed. The glass is too far away. I really don't need to get shot trying to reach it. A man can never have enough rockets in his pocket. Not one right now, perhaps. Well, it's still long enough to try again. No, i teraz się uda. Okay. Cut off a small piece of tarpaulin. An oil smeared tarpaulin. Looks the tarpaulin is tied down. I can't pull it away. The rockets look roughly on. Schmata. Aha. Czyli kim podpali dla nas szmatę? The oily rag will burn, 
but I prefer I didn't do so when I'm holding it in my hands. I don't smoke. It's a cigar lighter. I'll wrap the rack around the end of the pole. Zrobimy sobie prowizoryczną pochodnię. I've lit the end of the pole. Perhaps not the best course of action in an enclosed space, but as far as Paddock's concerned, fire makes any situation more exciting. Can't you see that they are getting away? What are you waiting for? Put your foot down! The engine's dead, boss. Oh, no. Hmm? Oh, oh, damn it. Well, we lost them for now, but they won't be far behind. Then you haven't got long to fill me in, have you? What's going on? You have to leave Hong Kong, Kim. The Tong Triad wants your uncle's notes and they're not known for asking nicely. What do they want them for? I don't know. Yet. But you have to trust me. Trust you? And how am I supposed to do that? You disappear for over a year and then turn up on my doorstep like nothing's changed. Kim, forget about that for five seconds. You're not safe here. And where do you suggest I go? I haven't learned to disappear into thin air since we last met. Don't worry, my plane's fueled up and ready. We can leave straight away. In your plane? And just where do you suggest we go? Well, I have some things to take care of in Tibet. You could come with me. You're out of your mind! Until you tell me what's going on, I'm staying right here. We don't have time for this. Come with me and I'll explain on the way. I can't come with you. What am I supposed to do in Tibet? Damn it, they're on their way here right now. Kimmy, either you get into the plane voluntarily, or I'm going to bundle you into the cargo hold. But it's ice cold in there. I don't even have any stuff. Sweater, makeup, toothbrush. I've got stuff. Have it all if you like. Well, I'll have a sweater. You can keep your toothbrush. Whatever. Get moving. So, Fenton, I suppose we're safe now? Uh, yes. Yes, I'd say we are. Good. Time to tell me your side of the story. Okay, okay. What do you want to know? Where should I start? Was it your fault that the dock workers died? I was officer in command that evening. The situation was getting out of hand. The workers got violent, throwing things. That's why we wanted to pull out. Nobody was supposed to get hurt. I was about to get everyone withdrawn when Richard went down. A few of the dock workers dived on him. It was a split-second decision. I stayed, ran over to Richard. God knows what they would have done to him. Then things really got out of hand. Part of my unit followed me, and I suppose the workers thought we wanted to break them up. So they attacked us. What happened next? One of my men opened fire. You get bad orders, you lose your nerve. It happens. Everyone started shooting into the crowd. I tried to call a ceasefire. Eight people died before I did. I... I should have left Richard behind. What?! One life versus eight. Easy maths. You can't weigh one life against another. It's not how it works. How kind of you. So now you're on my side. It was my job to know things might get out of hand. I had an order and I ignored it. We were explicitly told to withdraw to prevent people getting killed. Fenton, that is so... I don't know. If you hadn't been there to help Richard, he would have been killed and... I know, Kim, and I don't regret having saved Richard's life. But I'm not proud of what I did. Those eight men. Their families. That day is burnt into the back of my mind. You mean being discharged from the army? Yes. Among other things. But if all that's true, then it was just an accident. Didn't it count for anything that you saved the life of the governor's son? 
Richard was supposed to be kept out of it all. You never know what people might start saying if they knew he was there. Richard pulled all the strings he could to keep me out of prison. I owe him everything. Other people wanted to see my head roll. Afterwards, the Empire had to find a way to appease the Chinese population. So the person responsible was dishonorably discharged from His Majesty's service. And I accept that decision. In spite of the circumstances, I had a job to do and I failed. Richard and his unit were deployed in northern India soon after. We've hardly seen each other since. Fenton. Yes? Why didn't you tell us about all this? Did you really think we wouldn't believe you? Who knows? But... The men who were shot were your people. I guess I figured it would change things between us. You could have trusted us. My uncle missed you. And... And? Oh, nothing. So, why don't you tell me what we're doing in Tibet? Curiosity killed the cat, you know. Well, we've cheated death several times in the last few hours, so I reckon we're on a roll. Anyway, you promised you'd tell me. Okay, okay. Richard needs my help again. The irony of fate. He disappeared on an expedition. No trace of him or his men for weeks. But it's all top secret. So Lord Weston asked me to go after him. Unofficially, he knows I'd do anything for Richard. And? What does all that have to do with my uncle's maps? Obviously, Richard used them to plan his route. That's why I'm hoping the maps will help me find him. And the Triads? Are they looking for Richard too? I don't think so. But it can't be coincidence. So, what do you want to do next? Well, we're almost there. I'll drop you off in Katang before I start. You'll find a few decent hostels there. I guess I'll be gone two or three weeks. Once winter hits, I won't be able to cross the mountains. If I haven't found Richard by then... Wait, wait, wait. Did I miss something? You're dropping me off in Pawang? Katang. Whatever, I'm not going. I'm not gonna wait in some dump in the middle of nowhere for you to ride in on your high horse and rescue me a month down the line. Fine. What do you suggest? You're not coming with me. To say you're unprepared would be an understatement. But that's not what I was saying. I just don't want to be left behind in some mountain village. There must be some larger city en route, right? No, we're talking about Tibet. The only other option would be Lhasa, but that's too far out of the way. You're staying in Katang until I get back. I'm sorry, maybe you didn't notice, but it's been quite a while since we last saw each other. I'm not a little girl anymore, and you can't push me around like you used to. I'm sorry, Kim. I just don't want to drag you into all this any further. The last time I tried to help Richard, things didn't go too well. I don't want that to happen again, you understand? Really, it's better this way. Great, and what am I supposed to do while you're gone? Yak herding? Every little girl's dream. And what if something happens to you? I'll be stuck there forever. Or at least until some other thoughtless gung-ho pilot accidentally strays this way and picks me up. Kim Duck! Damn it! Um, did he just shoot at us? A German fighter plane? He just shot at us! I can't believe it! What's he doing in Tibet? I couldn't care less. He shot at us. He actually just shot at us. Shoot back! What? You know, shoot back. Machine guns, cannons. Uh, I deliver sacks of rice to Kathmandu for a living. This is a cargo plane, not a war machine. And therefore, no, it does not have any weapons on board. You're telling me we have no way of defending ourselves? I didn't say that. Take the controls. I'm going to the back to take care of our little friend. Okay, Fenton, think. Think of a plan. Plan, plan, plan. Okay, no to mamy niespodziewane gości. Kanister, spadochron, tylko jeden. Dynia. I'll take one with me. Co w związku z tym mają mi pomóc te rzeczy? If the pumpkin had an opening to pour the flower into, it would work. But it doesn't. So it won't. Okej. Okay. Mamy wspornik. We've got some holes in this baby now. 
Może zrobimy prowizoryczną postać. Ok, I can pour some flour through the holes. Ok, I'll add a little more water. Nie mogę się cofnąć do kabiny. Pumpkins are quite heavy. I could carry more, of course, but I'm not going to. Czy są tu jeszcze jakieś punkty interaktywne? Mogę otworzyć drzwi. Wow. We're on fire! Oh no! He hit the starboard engine! Don't panic! I'll switch it off and try to stabilize us. You can fly with one engine? This baby's got three! Which means we've got two left! But don't worry! I'm an expert at emergency landings! Crap! I've never tried it with only one wing before! There's a field over there! I'm taking us down! Hold on tight! Fenton! A nie lepiej by było wyskoczyć w dwójkę na jednym spadochronie? Kilka godzin później. Would it better be important, Lieutenant? Indeed. Our contact in Hong Kong has reported back. Continue. It looks like the cartographer's records have disappeared. What do you mean? Disappeared to where? And what about the cartographer? He died just recently. Only a few days after passing on copies of his maps to the British Recon Unit. And the originals? Someone must have them. The men we've assigned to the job assume the originals are in the hands of the cartographer's niece. Unfortunately, they were not able to reach the girl because a former soldier is protecting her. Better and better. If you want something done, do it yourself. In any event, the girl and the soldier were able to escape. I am somewhat disappointed, Lieutenant. But very well. We will continue... Who is this soldier? Why might he need the maps? What kind of threat is he to us? Collect all the information you can on him and the girl. I will be flying to Berlin for a week. I expect answers when I return. Jawohl. Anything else, Lieutenant? One of our recon aircraft is missing. It was on routine surveillance this morning and hasn't returned. I suggest sending out a search unit. Yes, do so. If the machine has crashed, you must find the pilot as well as the aircraft. Get rid of any traces that might lead to our camp. It will mean the majority of the men being sent out. Yes. I emphasize once again. Find the crashed aircraft and eliminate all tracks leading to us. Our mission must remain confidential at all costs until we have opened the chamber in the monastery. After that, we will not need to hide from anyone ever again. Rozdział drugi. Sekret w górach. Tybet. 400 mil na wschód od lasy. What happened? Kim? Kimmy? Can you hear me? Kim, please say something! Damn it. I need to get up there fast. No to się sprawy troszeczkę pokomplikowały. Rozbiliśmy się samolotem. Słuchajcie, moi drodzy, przygoda dopiero się rozpoczyna. Ale to już w kolejnych odcinkach. A tymczasem, dzięki wielkie za uwagę, trzymajcie się i do usłyszenia. Hej!